Hey folks, I want to quickly hit two of the items from yesterday morning a little bit more. The first one is that Arctic ice story. When I saw this, I felt a combination of embarrassment for my state's largest university and humor at the unending imagination of the weather zealots. This cult has been saying things like this for quite a while. I couldn't possibly even put them all in here, whether it's claims of the end of Arctic ice, the end of snow, the end of cold records. It's been one after another and every single one has been wrong. There's absolutely no reasonable rationale to think this is legitimate science or that something like this is on our doorstep. But what's worse is that if this were to happen, as we have seen in dozens of papers, it would chill the oceans, shut down the AMOC, and trigger a major cooling spell across the world. So what exactly is the point of publishing something like this? I'll tell you. Propaganda grant baiting, and nothing more. And as I said yesterday morning, it is complete clownery. Now, I also wanted to offer a bit more on that new NASA mission, the Electrojet Zeeman Imaging Explorer. It's going to be directly measuring the electrical coupling between the magnetosphere, solar wind, and space weather with the atmosphere below. Now, this is going to do two things, presuming we get accurate data. First, it's going to show a phenomenally higher than expected amount of that energy entering the Earth system. If the scientists are honest, and that's a big if, it will have to replace a huge portion of the human blame in their models for what's happening to global temperatures, from both the direct and indirect spreading of that energy across the world. But also, that amount means something else. Because as we've been discussing a lot lately, the auroral energy coming in is already higher than expected. The weakening of Earth's magnetic field has been and will continue to let in more and more energy. In a rare bit of good fortune for our community, this mission has the potential to better map that extra energy introduction, while also providing an irrefutable condemnation of the mainstream solar models for energy deposition into the atmosphere. Do I think that this is how it will honestly play out? really don't know, but I am hopeful. I know that if the goal was to keep up the scam at all costs, why even fly a mission like this, spending tens to hundreds of millions of dollars just to have to lie about it? Either way, I am excited for the launch later this year so it can explore that polar region with plenty of ice down below. I'll see you in the morning for The Daily Show. Be safe, everyone.